physically and verbally. I am good at it. I've simply been choosing to find peace. I've been choosing to allow my potential to to fruit into success and into abundance and into tangible resources for my child. Hey, Miss Latoya, I'm doing all right. How you doing? Twenty nine years old. I have autism, I have borderline personality disorder, ADHD, and anxiety. I'm a full time college student to an eight year old little girl. I am a business owner as of 2021 legally, and my business is still standing and active. And again, no one can say I have come and bothered them. I've been minding my business. I've been over here in the flower shop in my lane. I haven't even been touching the TikTok drama. We've been talking about real issues, real things that affect black women or women in general. What it's like to be a mom and not always want to all the time. What it's like to not have a squeaky clean home because you ain't got the energy. What it's like to be depressed and not even really have the energy to get up and open the blinds and go outside. Having moments where we just in here listening to music, old school music, gospel, whatever is needed. I was streaming the same person. Because again, what I am going to do is provide the truth and provide receipts. Hey, Rue, when people spread ugly lies about me, the lies that have been been being told about me, in my opinion, are not the type of lies you sit back and allow to to live and breathe and grow. I ain't been touching all the little petty insults, all the jokes and lies about my cash apps or about my financial insecurity or about my mental health bonnets and, you know, my clothes. I ain't, I ain't touched none of that. But people going around trying to make it seem like I bully and harass and I'm a dangerous to black women. And then worse off, not only am I a danger to black women, but I do it behind the scenes and then I lie about it and I pretend to be for black women on the forefront. People coming and saying that I have harassed them to the point of wanting to unalive themselves. People saying I threatened them. These are not things to me that you just sit back and you allow to go unchecked without showing the proof that I absolutely have. Especially when I'm trying to build something. And y'all know that my reputation is quite feisty. So of course people will believe, oh, she hasn't changed. She's just playing us. She hasn't changed. She's not trying. She's not trying to become a new person. She's not looking for peace. She's just playing us for money. Look what she's doing behind the scenes. Look at how she's treating these black women behind the scenes. And it's all a lie. I'm not going to sit back and let that happen. And I don't believe nobody truly. I don't believe they truly believe it either, Ru. I think they just are running with it because it's me. Because even after this woman admitted to lying, people are still coming at me. Still coming at me. And she has admitted to lying. I'm not going to sit back and take that. And let me give myself kudos because... Every time I felt myself about to just blow, I simply got off the lies. And if you know me, you know even that 
even stopping myself is a lie. Ending the live and, and letting myself get it out privately without bleeding on everybody. Hey, Shell. Hey, Lady J. That's growth also. Because I used to get on this bitch and I didn't care who I bled on. I did not care. It wasn't even a thought. It was not even a thought about who would hear it or how people would be affected or how my platform would be affected or how my followers would be affected or how the people who are known to affiliate with me would be affected. So me right now, in these moments, knowing to either not get on the live or end the live when I'm getting worked up, that's hella growth. And again, shows me that everything I'm doing is not for not. It may not. All right. Thank you, Nini. I appreciate it. I, normally, I do have good lives, so come around sometime. We normally be chilling. And like I said, you, y'all is not about to stop me. Still doing morning coffee in the flower shop. 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I am going to promote my shit. Because I'm not on here trying to trying to pretend like I'm going through something at the hands of somebody else. I'm going through stuff. But as far as in my real life, I'm not sitting here trying to push blame off on, on nobody else. I'm just trying to make it through this shit and get to a, a stable place for me and my daughter. And I don't care what y'all say, bro. Because y'all do not be here with me. Y'all don't sit in here with me. Thank you, body, for the follow. I am a full-time college student. And I work my ass off. Because I'm trying to think about the future. That ain't something I always did. I really didn't give a damn about it. But I'm trying to think like, man, in eight years, when this little girl turned 16 and she want a car and it's dances and all that, man, I'm not trying to be in this position. I'm not trying to make it to my 30th birthday this year and be in the same spot, whether it's mentally or financially or whatever. I'm trying to be drastically different, even if it is just mentally And that got so many of y'all bothered. And I am so convinced through everything that's been going on that the whole time, man, the whole time, majority of y'all, it wasn't my demeanor. It wasn't my countenance that had y'all perturbed. It wasn't. For some people, it was. Thank you, Sunshine and Fine China. Uh, thank you, Sunshine, for the share. Thank you, Fine China, Lady J. Um, and everybody that's liking, Rue, Nisha, everybody that's liking. The people who were actually put off by my dark demeanor, you know how I know the genuine ones? Because they don't have a problem giving me my props now. They may not necessarily fuck with me. They may not be in the flower shop. But when they see me around or they see me in other spaces, they give me my props. Those of y'all who continuously try to force me. I don't know who's in the box, but I had not. I don't even know who this is. No, I'm not letting nobody up. Those of you who continue to try to force me into that space. Those of you who continue to try to stop who I am at that person. 
that's how I know y'all are the ones that the issue was never the darkness. The issue was y'all always saw the light in me. And you was trying your damnedest to ensure it never reached the surface. Majority of y'all, just like right now, y'all didn't have real issues. Y'all didn't have a real problem with me. You just did not want to see my potential harvest. And so y'all teamed up, just like y'all doing now. Because I refuse, the way this shit is so back to back, I refuse to believe that this ain't some shit going on behind the scenes. Because I know how y'all play. I know how y'all play. And I know it well. I've been on this bitch for years. I'm not one of the newbies. And I know how y'all play. And y'all will pick a person to, to play one role. You'll pick the victim. You'll pick a person who's going to go ahead and take the fall in front of the people. You, you, it'll be all laid out. I know that's how y'all play. And between the people who coming for me, the things that they saying, telling people things like, watch who you support. The people tired of you using mess to get money. The people tired of you begging. You using your platform. That's not right. You taking advantage of your platform. Y'all need to watch out for people like that. She's a scammer. She's a fraud. But can't nobody show you a person I've scammed or did anything fraudulent with. Everybody hollering a scam or everybody running to y'all talking about what they did and what they sent. Sent it voluntarily. Never a receipt, never nothing but hot, more than likely stinking ass air coming out your mouth. It's 11.34, so I need to get off of here because like I said morning coffee in the flower shop ain't going nowhere the flower shop ain't going nowhere i am not going nowhere have y'all looked at my page let's look at how close we is because niggas think they way more powerful than they is this shit is crazy i'm at 9627 bro Like I said, you can trigger me. And it's not even necessarily you. I'm just going through shit, my dude. She's not going to get me to give up, bro. You know that shit I went through and kept going? You talking to the same girl who was a 304 and got graped and, and, and went right back to work the next day. talking to the girl who got robbed at Pew Pew Point and went right right back to turning corners the next day. You think some profiles and some lies is going to get me to give up when I said that this is what I'm doing? In full depression when I say I'm going to do something nine times out of ten, I'm going to do it. I'm a cancer. On the Leo cusp. I'm stubborn as shit. But actively, thank you, Hershey Share for the follow or for the shares. Actively telling myself, no, this is what we doing, bro. Y'all don't have the type of power that you think you have. And my mom and my dad over there work like, man, listen. The physical war, y'all have no chance at. Cause I'm built for it. So where 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 you could have got me was spiritually. But I'm very much so protected on that side. So that goes ahead and covers the mental too. Y'all don't have the power to push me into a psychosis. Y'all don't have the power to get me to break down, bro. So, with that being said, I again want to apologize to the flower shop for the negative energy that has been placed over us.
And although I'm not sorry for doing it, because again, I'm not going to let those type of lies ride, but I do apologize for the, for the energy shift that it has caused on, on our platform. That we, myself and you guys, have intentionally built with a certain vibe and a certain energy on purpose. We mute people when they come over here with the drama and being messy. We don't feed into it. We don't play into it. We be having other conversations going on. Real conversations that we don't be wanting to stop to be fucking messy. We need to get back to that. And the only way we can get back to that is if I get back to that. Because although this is for us, I got to always remember that the energy and the vibe is going to reflect from how I am interacting. So I'm going to get some rest. Because if you can hear those that know me, I'm just tripping and falling over my words. What you say, Stink? I don't, I don't speak like that. I don't be tripping and stumbling over words and saying the wrong words. and I don't. The people who know me, though, those are signs and indicators that I'm drained. And if I don't ease up, allow myself to rest, that's when the split starts to happen. That's when I start to get overstimulated. So with that being said, thank y'all for the 24K taps. Thank everybody for the gifts. Thank y'all for the encouragement. So I got 141 people in here in the mornings at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Even on the weekends, I hold a live segment called Morning Coffee in the Flower Shop. I will post really quick the sticker. It is a safe space for all, but tailored for women. We listen to jazz, we listen to affirmation music, and we talk. We have real conversations about life, about being a woman, about being a parent, about being black. Oh, I forgot this is Aubrey's phone. Because I'm like, where in the heck? Okay, so... This, this is my child's phone. Anyway. I know, Nisha. I know. I know. I, okay, okay, okay. I love y'all. Thank y'all for supporting me. Ain't nobody on this app ever gonna be able to convince me that the flower shop ain't real. Because we here every day. Love y'all. I'll see y'all in the morning.